Welcome to the Home Downsizing Show. My name is Ben Socek, your host and the owner and founder of Home Downsizing Solutions. With the Home Downsizing Show, I want to provide you the information and resources to make the downsizing of your house stress and hassle-free. So sit back and enjoy the show. Thank you for joining us. Hello, and welcome to this week's uh, edition and episode of the Home Downsizing Show. I'm Ben Socek, the owner and founder of Home Downsizing Solutions. And again, welcome to the Home Downsizing Show, where we talk about all things in regards to selling a house and downsizing to a smaller home, apartment, apartment community, or other senior living arrangement. Uh, this week, I'd like to talk about a subject that uh, comes up quite often when I talk to sellers and uh, had the opportunity to talk to, talk to a uh, someone that wants uh, and is thinking about selling a house, would like to sell a house that they've had for some time and uh, and move and downsize. The, the issue is not in in my opinion not looking at a house at their house the same way that potential buyers would look at their house in this and in in many situations if a person whether they live there for maybe 10 or 12 years maybe 20 30 or more years uh, if a person has not done things to keep the house in a fairly new modern updated condition then potential buyers are going to see those issues especially if they've done uh if they've went looking for for homes especially if they go to new homes to see what what features the new homes new home construction has Uh, again we've talked before about uh the solid surface countertops and the kitchens and bathrooms and and things like that and even common things like if a uh, an HVAC system is 10, 20 years old, but still working, the current homeowner might see that as being just fine. But potential buyers are going to look to see, in most markets, are going to see a dated HVAC system. They're going to see that or maybe original windows as being okay, but they're not as energy efficient as new ones. And so if they're looking at other uh, houses that have been updated, or if they look at comparables of houses that have sold that had newer systems in, then they're going to take, usually they're going to take into account an allowance to uh, an allowance that it's going to take at some point to upgrade those major systems. And so uh, even if a house has been cosmetically upgraded and updated, but the some of the major systems like an HVAC system or windows, uh, roof has not been updated, most potential buyers will take that into account in some manner. And especially situations where it comes to foundation issues if there's if there's the appearance of something happening if there if it's obvious that uh, walls are uh, st- uh, basement walls are starting to lean starting to crack and especially if there's been maybe some peering done or some type of stabilization to the basement walls uh, in the past, but there continues to be issues with the basement, most potential buyers are not just going to overlook that. But I I see it time and again where there are uh, homeowners that have been in the home, have lived with these situations for years, whether it be a, a problem foundation the the dated HVAC that's that's good enough for them the the original windows in the house it might be twenty or thirty years old but they were good enough for them when they purchased the house 
And it's almost like it's a situation where uh, the the homeowner gets used to something like that. And I think a lot of us probably fall into that, whether we've owned our homes for 10, 20, 30, 40 years. If we're comfortable in it, then we think somebody else should be comfortable with those with those items. And in a really hot market, sometimes buyers do overlook some of those things. But in most markets, potential buyers are going to, again, look at other houses, look at what your competition is for selling, look at what has sold, and will typically take into account things like dated HVAC systems, original windows, and certainly things like foundation problems. Uh, Those are usually major issues. And especially when it comes to uh, things like foundation problems, uh, roofs and and the age of the roof, some of the major things like that, when a regular uh, traditional home buyer will come in and look for to buy a home, even if they may overlook some of those things or be willing to accept the house with some of those things, when they try and get a loan, and have the appraiser come out, they're more than likely going to identify some of these things, especially if there's foundation issues or if there's a lot of age on the roof. They're going to identify these things as deficiencies, typically. And so it may not be possible for a buyer to get a loan on a house with some of these issues, uh, depending on what what there is, what the severity of the, the issue is. Uh, sometimes they will call for additional inspections from professionals that do foundation work uh, in in that case, or someone that is a professional roofer to get their opinion or their seal of approval on something. And if some of those things need to be repaired before a person can get a loan, then of course that's going to add other costs and, and other issues there too. So... I kind of just wanted to take a few minutes on this week's episode to go over uh, these items because it's understandable that, again, if we live in our our home for years, we get accustomed to what we live in, what we we have, uh, some of the dated aspects of things. But for potential buyers that we're looking to attract if we want to sell the house, we really need to put ourselves into the shoes of that potential buyer and look to see what they're going to do. Um, Unfortunately, I think there are some real estate agents that will overlook some of these things in an effort to get listings. Again, most agents are, are great. They do a great job, but I, I do hear of situations where I just shake my head when a person tells me, that they're, that an agent that they had brought in to look at the house gives them numbers on what they could sell the house for. And in my humble opinion, it just doesn't make any sense at all that they're overlooking some of the obvious things that I think most or all potential buyers are going to look at. So again, I think we need to put ourselves, if you're a homeowner or looking to sell your house, and want to sell your house, then a person needs to put themselves into the shoes of a potential buyer and really look to see what they're going to be looking at to sell a house. So with that, thank you for listening this week. And if you have any questions, if we can, if I can be of service as far as uh, if you have questions about your house, about uh, selling your house or downsizing in general, Uh, please give my office a call, toll-free 855-291-5005. If you'd like a free copy of my book, Home Downsizing Secrets, uh, feel free to call my office as well or go to homedownsizingsecrets.com. And uh, I wish you the best of weeks. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Home Downsizing Show. 
For additional information and resources on home downsizing, just go to homedownsizingblueprint.com. That's homedownsizingblueprint.com. Or if you're ready to sell your house and downsize, just go to homedownsizingsolutions.com. That's homedownsizingsolutions.com. And if you have ideas to improve our show or topics that you'd like us to cover or have any questions that we can answer, just call our office toll free 855-291-5005. That's 855-291-5005. Thank you.